So now we can actually work on finishing the vessel itself, finishing the jug, okay? So we want to make a coil that is the same size as the top, right? It's sort of like we're gonna build onto the top, but we're just not going to attach it, okay? So we get together a coil, we roll it out, okay? You always can junk the parts of the coil that aren't working out for one reason or another. What this does is it gives us a size, right? It's very easy to not make lids that fit, right? They're tricky, so we need to know what size the vessel is. So we get this coil, we smush it together and make a ring just so we know how big the top of our container is. This is the point where we can start to essentially make a pinch pot. Uh, you could take multiple coils and just coil it smaller and close it up, but for most of these it's going to just be easiest to create a small pinch pot. Remember pinch pots are when you kind of stick your thumb in and then you start smoothing it around. Most jugs essentially have a dome on top. A dome is a, a half of a sphere. So we want to shoot for about a half of a sphere size and shape, right? You can make it really tall, you could make it a little flatter, it's kind of up to you, okay? So we get that kind of half dome shape and we're matching it to the size of our coil there, okay? And we'll actually attach the two. That way we know for sure they are the right size. And we can really smush it together well on the inside and the outside there too. If you get done building your pot but don't have time to start the face, it's always a good idea to go ahead and make this. You can make this piece separately, wrap it up, and save it and put it on for another day. You probably would want to put it on another day just because you want to give the dome time to set up. Okay? At this point, the dome is still really soft. You just made it. Uh, if you let it sit for a day, it'll firm up a little bit and it's less likely to collapse in on itself. Okay, so I'm just going through, really making sure those are attached. You can always kind of squeeze it in with my hands to make sure it doesn't get too big. Okay, and now I want to make the spout. The spout is where the liquid comes out. There are a number of ways to make a spout. You can coil a spout. Uh, you know, around your finger and then smooth it together, right? You can make a coil, yeah, that, it's very simple. Um, because we are making relatively small jugs, we can actually just make a cylinder, okay? So remember a cylinder, it's like a paper towel tube, right, but solid, okay? Tear that off, get a nice cylinder going on here, right? Make sure it's flat on top and flat on the bottom. Uh, how tall the spout is is kind of up to you. That to me aesthetically is a little too tall, right? You want to make it kind of match, make it look like it belongs. That's a little closer, maybe still a little tall. Again, up to you. That looks about perfect for me, okay? Uh, we are going to hollow this out, but it's, it's easier to do it in a couple of steps. So the first step is to take, I like to take, um, back end of a needle tool, but you have to be very careful with that. Uh, so you go like that and you can make a hole that way. You can also use one of these guys and just kind of spin it, right? But we're just going to make a hole right through the center, right? Flip it over, make sure the hole goes through nice on each side, right? Nice hole through the center there, right? We can even stick our fingers in, make it nice and big, right? That's where the liquid's gonna come out. Then we can attach it to the dome. Now I wanna keep the dome solid, right? If I poke a hole in it, it's more likely to fall apart as I'm pushing, right? So I'm going to wait to put the hole in it. I'm going to wait until I have this really well attached. I might even take a small coil and run it around the edge here just to make sure it's really, really well attached, okay? because this is gonna get a lot of abuse, right? If you're drinking out of it, or if you're putting stuff in it, anything that's gonna get used needs to be attached really well. So then I take the same tool I made the hole with, and I just poke it all the way through, okay? I can 
turn it upside down, make sure the hole's big enough, smooth it out in there, make sure it stays kind of big. You wanna make sure that it's big enough, the liquid can come in and out of it, All right? But that way the integrity of the dome was there to help keep it together while you were attaching it, okay? So once this is set up, I would just slip and score it and attach it to the jug itself here, right? I always wait to attach it till after I'm done with the face so I can reach in, right? Remember, that's why we're waiting. But I would just slip, score it, and attach it. So that is how you finish off the ugly jug.